and the Yaki Foundations. is always joined by Jerry Remy. Game three of the four-game series, and tonight, John Burkett, after a long layoff, goes. Seven days rest for John Burkett. Certainly well-rested for this game, coming off two very good outings against St. Louis, an excellent hitting team, and last time the Chicago White Sox. Generally, off-speed pitches are very tough on young hitters, and of course, the Detroit Tigers have a lot of young hitters in their lineup. Tonight, the Red Sox will face a former farmhand of their own as they go up against Mike Marath. We've got it next for you on Nesson. Cheap vehicles have proven themselves by winning more awards than any other brand of 4x4. Now let us prove they're the best values in America. During the Jeep Summer Sales Drive, we'll get great deals on Jeep vehicles like Liberty, the best-selling vehicle in its class. Get 0% financing or big cash allowances, plus a 7-year, 70,000-mile powertrain limited warranty on every one. Let us prove we've got the best values in America. Hurry to your Jeep dealer today. All spring, you work to get your lawn thick and green, and then along comes summer and the brown patches. Hi, I'm Ashton Ritchie with the Scotts Company. Don't just blame the summer heat. It's also insects, bugs you can't even see, eating your lawn alive. The solution? Scotts Turf Motor with Summer Guard. It eliminates lawn-damaging insects. Plus, it greens up your lawn with a special summer fertilizer made for even the hottest months. Scotts Turf Motor with Summer Guard. Put it down this weekend for your best summer lawn ever. Guaranteed. Excuse me, that ATM just ate my card, and I have to be on a plane in an hour. Let me see what I can do. Miss? Yes? This must have gotten a little jam. Okay. Your car should be coming right out. Oh, thank you so much. My pleasure. Have a nice trip. Would you like to make a transfer, please? Hello? Liquid. Riveting. Of all the thrilling lines that Nissan brings you, this may be our most interesting. The bottom line at the Nissan National Sales Event. Get 0.9% financing or up to $1,500 cash back on select new Nissans. But hurry, July 7th is the end of the line. Red Sox fans are big game hunters. Fenway's always in season, and now with Tigers and Marlins on the loose, the Sox are sure to bag a few W's. The Sox take the untamed Tigers by the tail, June 23rd through the 26th, and then the Sox give the Marlins the hook as they close out interleague play June 27th through the 29th. It's the Tigers and Marlins. For tickets, call 877-RED-SOX-9 or log on to RedSox.com. The new 2004 Pontiac Grand Prix, the most powerful, best handling, best performing sports sedan in its class. It's a rush, hour after hour. The 2004 Pontiac Grand Prix is an outstanding value. And now experience a 24-hour road test and see for yourself. See your participating New England Pontiac dealer today. Boston Red Sox Baseball on Nesson is brought to you by Southwest Airlines, your Boston area Lexus dealers, Citizens Bank, by Volvo, Bob Stores, and by Coors Light. The 
Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Fenway Park. A beautiful night tonight at Fenway. High blue skies and a uh, little bit on the muggy side here tonight, but certainly a welcome sign as summer is certainly here in Boston and the Red Sox welcoming the Detroit Tigers. Let's take a look at their starting lineup tonight. Bobby Higginson will lead it off as the DH. It is Warren Morris at second base, Demetri Young in left, Kevin Witt at first, Eric Munson at third, Craig Monroe in right, A.J. Hinch does the catching, Omar Infante at shortstop, and Alex Sanchez in center. The defense tonight for the Red Sox will have Bill Miller at third base, Nomar the shortstop, Todd Walker at second, and David Ortiz at first. Left to right, Kevin Millar, Johnny Damon, and Damian Jackson. Jason Veritek behind the plate, and on the mound, John Burkett. Five and three on the season. This will be his 14th start, his 15th appearance overall. He's had one appearance out of the bullpen. Coming off back-to-back -back wins against St. Louis and last time against Chicago. Got off to a tough start. Four straight doubles, and then retired 18 in a row against the White Sox. He has never lost against Detroit in five career starts, has a 3-0 record. Jeff Kellogg has the play tonight. Bill Miller at first, Lance Barksdale at second, and Joe West, the umpire at third. They're available. Tonight's broadcast can be heard in Spanish by using the SAP function on your TV set. Buenas noches, amigos. Well, Bobby Higginson, who's been hitting in the middle of this lineup, leads it off for the Tigers tonight. And there is the DH. And Burkett misses inside, falls behind 2-0. Higginson at 247, five homers and 23 runs batted in. And Burkett in his 15th overall appearance, 14th start. And a four-pitch walk to the leadoff hitter here for the Tigers. Well, let's check tonight's game notes brought to you by New England Toyota dealers. The Red Sox, 10 doubles in their last two games. They've got 201 on the season, and that may, leads the major leagues in that category. Nomar, 417 at home, leads the American League, and Mike Marath, who's pitching tonight for Detroit, 11 losses, times the American League lead with Barnderman, who worked in the game one of this series. Here is Warren Morris, the second baseman for the Tigers. They take strike one. There's the first strike of the night from John Burkett. Warren Morris at 302, three homers and seven runs batted in. The Detroit Tigers coming in with the Major League's uh, worst record into tonight's action at 18 and 56. The 21 and a half games back of both the Royals and the Twins in the AL Central. And they have lost four games in a row. Well, the Red Sox find themselves two games back of the Yankees. And a tie with the Toronto Blue Jays heading into tonight's action. Both teams two games back of the Yankees. Last night the Yankees were ahead. They were behind and they came back to win that game against Tampa. Well, they get four in the ninth. Yeah, I think so. Warren Morris fooled on that pitch. He's down one and two. Remember the last start for Burkett against Chicago? He came out throwing fastball after fastball, and they keep kept hitting it all over the ballpark. Then he decided to mix in his off-speed pitches, curveball, changeup, and that's when he took control of that game against the White Sox. Four doubles in a row out of the gate for the White Sox, but after that, he shut him down. I think it was 18 in a row at one point. Oh, well, he mentioned the Red Sox two games back. They're tied with the Blue Jays in that regard. The Orioles are 10 and a half games back at Tampa Bay, 20 games in behind the Yankees who are 45 and 30. The Yankees at Tampa Bay tonight. Pettit against Bell. This is lined into center field for a base hit. Johnny Damon plays it on a hop. The first two Tigers have reached here in the top of the first One inning. Fielder. Well, the Tigers have been very quiet offensively throughout this series, but they have intentions of trying to change that tonight. The walk, now the base hit to Morris. Morris uh, over 300 with his batting average. And Jod Burkett, again, not pleased with his start tonight. So two on, nobody out, and Dimitri Young. The number three hitter inside the Tigers order has got a little pop 15 home runs on the season 43 RBIs and a 285 batting average. Five for ten for Dimitri Young in his career against Burkett with a couple of home runs. It was two for three here last night with a double. 
Here's the DH. Playing defensively tonight as he gets a start in left field. Only a 50 has earned runs have been allowed in the first couple innings. It seems it takes John a little while to settle in. Some of those deficits early have been large. And as a result, Burkett has ended up on the losing side. And in their first strike, two and one. Five and three record overall for John Burkett. But a 5.60 earned run average heading into tonight's action. Young carves it foul off the left side and evens up at two and two. Well, if that's any indication, we're going to have some great plays in the stands tonight. That was a rocket. Makes the play with a bare hand. Two on for the Tigers. Nobody out in the two two. Good sweeping curveball. It misses away. Full count. It is a muggy night tonight in Boston as Burkett tries to find the handle on the baseball here. Breaking ball and the full count. Two on. Nobody out. And the most dangerous hitter for the Tigers at the plate. He chops it. Ortiz to his right. Throws to second for one. No return throw. And they do indeed. Record the put out on the middle man. Warren Morris at second base for the first out. Pretty good range shown here by David Ortiz at first base. Uh, he'll go quite a distance to his right to make this play. There was no chance for Garcia Parr to turn the double play. He wasn't sure Brooklyn was going to get to the bag in time. So he'll fake the throw and hope that he can catch that runner rounding third base too hard. There's the fake. He'll take a peek, but he's not going anywhere. So runners at the corners, one out now. And here's Kevin Witt, the first baseman for the Tigers, who stands in on the left side. At 286, has gone deep four times and has eight RBIs. Former Toronto Blue Jay and San Diego Padre. games Kevin Witt has picked it up a notch he's 13 for 38 at 342 makes the strike one and one let's so start of the season with the Toledo Mudhead at the time of his call up here to the Tigers he was leading the International League with nine home runs and 19 extra base hits here in 38 games with the Mud Hands before his call up here to Detroit. And had stints over three years with the Toronto Blue Jays. Cool on that pitch, and he's down one and two. There's that big slow curveball that was so effective for Burkett against the White Sox once he got it rolling. It's about a four-stepper. You know, you step out about four times before you get a chance to make contact. Higgins in at third. Dimitri Young at first with one away. And the one-two. This is Chase evens up at two and two. With the victory last time out. In fact, he's had two wins in a row as he beat the Cardinals and the White Sox in each of the last two outings for John Burkett. On the ground softly to his left is Miller. He looked at second but fires to first. And he gets the put out there, but in from third comes Higginson. And the Tigers grab the game's first run on top, one to nothing. And for some reason, Bill Miller did not elect to go to get that lead runner at second base. It looked like he had time. Maybe he just didn't uh, have the grip on the baseball to do it. It's a slight peek in that direction and then immediately goes to first base to get the shore out. So run. 
done for the Tigers here in the first inning. Dimitri Young in scoring position at second. And here's Eric Munson, the third baseman for the Tigers at 244 this season. Burkett starts off ahead. Munson last night was 0 for 4 as he got the start at third base for the Tigers and struck out. up at one and one on the road trip which has included Colorado before the Tigers came here to Boston Munson is now three for 19 popped up foul down the third baseline back and out of play one and two Munson a rookie who Near the top in a couple of the rookie categories. He's had a pretty good season for a rookie season. His 10 home runs. Second to Dimitri Young on the Tigers this season. He's had a chance to play a little bit more regularly and has seen a lot of time at third base. A well, summer night finally here at Fenway Park tonight. And the lights are on at Fenway. Strike three call. Eric Munson freezes him, and that'll do the inning. The Tigers do get one on the top of the first. Red Sox coming up from Fenway. Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize again for the delay, but our gate is still not available. However, should we experience any excessive boredom here on the tarmac, disco balls will drop, and the sounds of Lafreak Say Chic will fill the cabin. Always be sure to get your group thing on first before assisting others. Thank you for your patience. Discover your inner spin off responsibly. Hypnotic. Aggressive. Liquid. Riveting. Of all the thrilling lines that Nissan brings you, this may be our most interesting. The bottom line at the Nissan National Sales Event. Get 0.9% financing or up to 1500 cash back on select new Nissans. But hurry, July 7th is the end of the line. And now with a late-breaking story, here's Suzanne. Thanks, Tom. As the volcano continues to erupt, we take you live to correspondent John Ryland, who's at the scene. John, what's the situation? Suzanne, as you can see behind me, the lava is covering an area of about two square miles. It's a bad situation, but I do have good news. What's that, John? I just saved a bunch of money on my car insurance by switching to GEICO. GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Skill. Skill is doing what others find impossible. Hamill, Waxler, Allen, and Collins. Personal Injury Law. Lineup: Johnny Damon at the top of the order. Walker at second. Garcia Parra at short. Ramirez at DH. Malai in left. Ortiz at first. Bill Miller at third. Damian Jackson at right. And Veritek does the catching. Damon in on the left side. And the first pitch from former Red Sox farmhand Mike Murat. This is for ball one. He was traded on for uh, Bryce Flory back on July 31st of 1999. Spent most of last year with the Tigers. And this year making his 16th start, a 2-11 record with a 5.19 ERA. This is his second start against the Red Sox. He is 0-1 against Boston. Johnny Damon at 2.58 this season, six homers and 33 runs batted in. In the air to shallow right, Craig Monroe started back, but now he's coming on for out number one. 
The defense tonight for the Tigers, they're 12th in the league, 63 errors on the season. Eric Munson will be at third base, Omar Infante the shortstop, Warren Morris at second, and Kevin Witt at first. Left to right, Dimitri Young, Alex Sanchez, and Craig Monroe, who just caught that fly ball, and A.J. Hinch doing the catching for Murat. One down now for Todd Walker. Gets the start at second base tonight for the Red Sox. Showing Bunt, popping it up foul. And out of the reach of Eric Munson. Made a bid to grab that pop-up. Walker trying to bunt his way on. I think Walker may be trying to pull this down towards second base, a drag bunt, but that bat drags a little bit behind him, and that's the reason for the pop-up. Fortunately, Eric Munson uh, was pulled over and couldn't get to it. Walker changed his mind in the middle, but it still grabs the bat. He's down 0-2. Red Sox won't see uh, an overpowering fastball from Marath. He'll be in the high 80s with a curveball slider and a changeup. and fires out. Todd Walker, two down. Well, the best view of today's Red Sox action is from the hood lightship flying overhead with its eye in the sky camera to bring you beautiful pictures of Boston. We'll have them all night. Some great shots at Fenway Park here tonight. Well, here is one of the stars of last night's game, Omar Garcia Parra, with his five hit performance, has that average up to 344, which is good for third in the American League. Lines out to Dimitri Young, who snares it middle of the cap eye. One, two, three, go the Red Sox. They trail one nothing. Okay, folks, let's get this party started. Uh, call Seattle. Get McGregor on the phone. Calling him now. Morning. Good morning. Good morning this is Scott McGregor. I'll be out of the office all day. Please leave a message. That's not like McGregor. McGregor's not there? Great. Excuse me, there's a Mr. McGregor here to see you. Southwest Airlines Last Minute Fares. If you're paying more than $149 nonstop to Orlando or Tampa Bay, you're paying too much. You are now free to move about the country. The Hyundai Santa Fe, a comparison. More standard features than a Toyota RAV4. All for over $1,000 less when comparably equipped. And only the Santa Fe is protected by America's best warranty. 10 years, 100,000 miles. Looks like we have a winner. Test drive the Hyundai Santa Fe, nicely equipped for just $17,044 at your Hyundai dealer. Hurry in and get a 2003 Santa Fe with $1,000 cash back or 0% APR at your local Hyundai dealer. Nesson is New England's hardball headquarters with complete Boston Red Sox coverage, Paw Sox action from McCoy, and the Sox newest affiliate, the Portland Sea Dogs. Nesson's playing ball all season long. Don Orsillo, Nesson Red Sox play-by-play. -play. Jerry Remy, Nesson Red Sox color commentary. New England's Red Sox broadcast team on Nesson. We've got your Sox covered. For extra convenience, extra value, and extra service, stop at Extra Mart. When you're on the go, you need a little extra. Fuel up on Extra Mart's Deli Joe sandwiches, Brew Boy coffee, and more. For your car, Extra Mart offers the brands you know at competitive prices. All month at Extra Mart, pick up very fine Fruit 2O or Fruit 2O Plus for just 99 cents. Tastes great, no carbs or calories. With over 150 locations throughout New England, be smart. Shop Extra Mart. Don Orsillo and Jerry Remy back at Fenway Park, top of the second inning. John Burkett relinquished a run in the first, and as the Tigers on top, one to nothing. Greg Monroe gets to start in right field tonight for the Tigers. And then 211, six homers and 24 runs batted in. Six, seven, and eight for Detroit to face John Burkett here in the second inning. Burkett ended up walking Bobby Higgins in the first batter of the game. It was costly as he came around to score. Monroe lines this foul down by Campus Alley. Burkett will give up a walk and a hit in the first inning that led to the Tigers' first run of the night. 
And on the ground, left side. Garcia Para there, and there's one away. Well, H.P. Hood is rooting for the Red Sox and kids throughout New England. Each time the Red Sox strike out an opponent, make a double play, or hit a home run at Fenway, Hood donates $100 to the Hood Home Team Advantage Fund, which in turn benefits children hospitals all over New England. This is going to sound nuts, but I have never noticed that uh, there's a scoreboard down there that has the scoring that is actually below the big Hood milk bottle. I never noticed that, that they give you scoring on every play down there. Did you ever notice that? Apparently you have. Uh, it's time. been there a couple of years now. <laughs> <laughs> That's sort of alarming. I don't know that. But that, I noticed it because when he grounded out to short, it said 6-3. And uh, that's how I was tipped off. In there for a strike. It's 0-2 to A.J. Hinch. Yeah, I think that's something that was added uh, under that H.P. Hood uh, milk bottle uh, about a year ago. Hmm. That usually takes me about a year to really notice anything. 0-2 is chopped foul outside of third. Still 0-2. There's it. As soon as there's a play. Right here. Goes, yeah. You know, E, like, I'll say right. me, for example, E4, which there'd right. be plenty of if I was playing. <laughs> Never noticed it, but uh, it's been there better than a year. Well, There's a lot of things around here you haven't seen yet done. I'm sure things will pop into you, <laughs> you know, every now and then, every five, six years. Where do those seats come above the wall? One of those. Oh, and two to A.J. Hinch. Catcher totes a 188 batting average. Former Oakland A and Kansas City Royal. Two from Burkett struck him out. Another one of those breaking balls. Second strikeout for John Burkett. Two down. Once again, that big slow curveball from John Burkett to pick up his second strikeout of the game. John had nine strikeouts last time out against uh, Chicago. And what was eight of the nine were looking? Yes. In that ball game? And the White Sox were not happy about it. They felt like they were getting. That end of the deal by the umpiring crew at the time. Sort of amazing, the two outs here is Infante, that it always seems like the other team thinks that uh, when Burkett is successful that there's foul play involved. The, the umpires last time, and Andy Fletcher, the home plate umpire, and then when he was pitching very well at Anaheim, they had the ball checked at one point. <laughs> so, well, he, he had the best line of all. He said, if I was cheating, don't you think my ERA would be better than six? <laughs> that brings up a very good point. It's not at six right now for John Burkett, but at the time that he said that, it was very close to it. The 0-2, and Fonte swings and misses back-to-back -back K's. Inning and a half done from Fenway, 1-0 Tigers. Like Wrangler Rubicon, the most capable Jeep vehicle ever. And Liberty, the best-selling vehicle in its class. Get 0% financing for 60 months or big cash allowances. Plus a 7-year, 70,000-mile powertrain limited warranty on every one, including Grand Cherokee. Let us prove we've got the best values in America. Hurry to your Jeep dealer today. 
NewEnglandPGA.com returns on Nesson for our fourth season. Before you hit the links this year, tune into Nesson on Sundays at 7.30 p.m. and Tuesdays at 5.30 p.m. As host John Dennis visits some of New England's best golf courses. Join us as we visit The Ranch, Riverbend, Queechy, Woodstock, Bethel Inn, and more. More tips, more info, more places to play. It's NewEnglandPGA.com. And it's here on Nesson, Sundays at 7.30 p.m. and Tuesdays at 5.30 p.m. Back at Fenway, 1-0 Tigers on top as we head to the last of the second inning. 4, 5, and 6 for the Red Sox. Ramirez, Malar, and Ortiz. Only the DH tonight. Malar getting the start in left field. There is a 3-12, 16 homers, and 56 RBIs. And he leading the team with 56 RBIs. Millar is just one RBI behind Manny Ramirez. So pretty good punch between the four and five hitters. And Millar uh, made up a lot of ground in that category last night. A five RBI evening for Millar last night. And he had four hits in the game. And he sends a looper into center field for a base hit. Red Sox had their first base runner of the night. Well, Ramirez covers an awful lot of ground to pick up this base hit. Looked like a changeup down and away and off the plate, but Manny able to extend out over the plate, make contact, and drop it in the center field for the base hit. Look how far Manny reaches out. That ball's in the left-handed batter's box. And it plants it in the center field for the base hit. Ramirez and Millar now fifth and sixth, respectively, in the American League, and runs batted in. And he held on at first by Kevin Witt. Here is Kevin Millar for the first time tonight. That's just career highs with four hits and five RBIs last night against the Tigers. It was four for four with runners in scoring position last night. And it was the second five RBI performance of his career. Last time was on July 3rd of 1999 when he was a member of the Marlins. Did it against the Montreal Expos. It was the fourth time that he's had four hits in a game, the first time since September 14th of last year against the Atlanta Braves. Softly rolled down the third baseline. Maras stumbles for a moment, but still gets Millar at first. And he's up to second base with one down. Well, game time is Miller time at Fenway and on Nesson. Stop by a participating Fenway area retailer before game time. You can win free tickets to the game and end up on Nesson in the game time is Miller time Fenway seats. Just like these lucky folks out in this area here. One down, Ramirez at second base, and here's David Ortiz. Red Sox first baseman at 291, three homers, 33 runs driven in. That is 20th double of the year yesterday. Now one of five Red Sox players with 20 or more doubles this season. We mentioned Marath had two, two wins on the season and both of those have come on the road on May 23rd at Chicago in his last outing at Colorado. Tigers won that ball game seven to five. He went six innings in that game only two earned runs allowed. Colorado not a very easy place to pitch. I don't know any pitcher that would like to go to Colorado. No, pitch. <laughs> get the thin air aspect. Wow. Sort of uh, changed Mike Hampton's entire career. He went to, there have been a few of those guys, but Hampton trying to turn it around this year with the Atlanta Braves. Funny, for a long time they said, you know, well, let's get sinker ball pitches, you know, because the ball travels. For how about getting strikeout guys where there's no <laughs> contact at all? That would be the best. You know, the, best. It's, it's the Nolan Ryan, Seaver, Pedro, uh, Randy Johnson, and Schilling. How about that for starting <laughs> five? Ortiz fooled on that pitch. Evens up at two and two. David Ortiz has had pretty good success against lefties this year. 282 batting average against left handers which is very respectable, also has uh, one home run. Nick Maroth, 25 years of age from Orlando, Florida. This is away. He was traded away from the Red Sox organization on July 31st, 1999, at the trade deadline. 
He was acquired by the Tigers from the Red Sox in exchange for Bryce Flory. The highest he got in the Red Sox system was Sarasota, 1999. He was pitching there at the time of the trade and was 11 and 6. And he was traded away to the Tigers and then went to the Florida State League in Lakeland, where he began his Tigers career in the organization. For the first time, reached the major leagues last year with the Tigers. He was 6 and 10 last year in 21 starts with a 4.48 earned run average. And this marks his second year in the big leagues for the left hander. Funny you mentioned Lakeland, and uh, I think a couple of weeks ago we were talking about Lakeland, and I got a couple of emails about it, and they. One kid was pretty funny. He said, I go to school down here, and he said, for fun, the people in Winnehaven come to Lakeland for a good time. <laughs> down the first baseline, Kevin Witt with it, but on the third goes Manny Ramirez with two down. How about that beautiful sight from uh, the flip? What? Much better now. Back is much better. <laughs> you jinxed it. Right up over center fielder Alex Sanchez out there in center field right now. Two down Ramirez at third for Bill Miller. And a chance to drive in a run here for Miller with two down. And Manny Ramirez at third. Miller down to 317. A lot of guys would like to be down to 317. He is 10th in the American League in hitting. Up the middle and Fonte can't get it in from third comes Ramirez. And Bill Miller gets the job done. The Red Sox tie the score at one. Bill Miller picks up his 10th two-out RBI of the season for the Red Sox. And slowly but surely, looks like Miller's starting to come out of the funk that he's been in. Had a hit in the ball game last night. Starts this one out with a base hit by the dive of Infante to drive in that first run for the Red Sox. By the way, I mentioned the 10 two-out RBI for Miller. The team leader, Kevin Millar, with 21. David Ortiz is second with 20. Line right to the shortstop, Infante, and Damian Jackson is gone. Red Sox get a run. We played two. We're tied at one. For extra convenience, extra value, and extra service, stop at Extra Mart. When you're on the go, you need a little extra. Fuel up on Extra Mart's Deli Joe sandwiches, Brew Boy coffee, and more. For your car, Extra Mart offers the brands you know at competitive prices. All month at Extra Mart, pick up very fine Fruit 2 or Fruit 2 Plus for just 99 cents. Tastes great, no carbs or calories. With over 150 locations throughout New England, be smart. Shop Extra Mart. Well, that about wraps it up. Any questions? You've been awfully quiet, Bob. Bob? Thirsty for a cold drink? Try a refreshing iced coffee from the coffee experts at Dunkin' Donuts. Bob? The secret's out. Stop by today and try our new caramel iced coffee. Refreshing Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee. Now with the delicious taste of caramel. Just the thing. You're losing your hair, and you haven't ordered Avacor yet? Hi, I'm Derek Cope, race car driver and TV analyst. To do your best, you need to look and feel your best. When I started noticing my hair thinning, I decided to take action. I explored various options, and I found the Avacor system. The experts at Avacor told me that hair loss is caused by a body chemical called DHT that stops your hair from growing. Avacor has an all-natural DHT blocker, and its topical physician's formulation starts your hair growing again. It worked for me. It's about confidence and the desire to win. Avacor does that. Join the tens of thousands of satisfied customers who have reversed their hair loss with Avacor. It's guaranteed. Call 800-817-0982. Now you can use Avacor risk-free for one full year. It's guaranteed. Call 800-817-0982. That's 800-817-0982. Don Orsillo and Jerry Remy back at Fenway Park. Our producer tonight is Russ Ken. Director Mike Naracci. Associate producer is Greg Petranzio. And our stat man is Paul Carroll. Glad you've joined us tonight from Fenway on a warm night at Fenway Park. Tied at one. Into the third inning. Alex Sanchez, number nine hitter. 
And center fielder for the Tigers leads it off at 240, no homers. And four runs batted in. They're in at the corners on the grass, anticipating he may try to bunt his way on. And he gives him the indication that he was thinking about it, but takes a strike. He's got everybody pulled into that infield a couple of steps at first and third. Look how shallow Walker is going to play at second base. Garcia Parra just about uh, straight away in his normal position at shortstop. Birkin is now retired five in a row. Has three strikeouts through the first two innings. Wide in the right center field for a base hit. So a leadoff single for Alex Sanchez. Win a LoJack stolen vehicle recovery system by entering the LoJack caught stealing sweepstakes at boston.com slash Nesson. Every time the Sox catch a run of stealing, go to the website, enter the date, opponent, and run a caught stealing for your chance to win. But John Burkett with three strikeouts through two plus innings. Burkett has now 53 strikeouts in 82 and a third innings. As the top of the order, Bobby Higginson in there. His career against Burkett, pretty good. Four hits and nine at bats. And Burkett was very careful with him in the first inning. He walked him on four pitches to begin the night. And is still the only walk. Burkett has given up. Higginson came around to score the Tigers run. Check on first and a stutter step back to the bag for Alex Sanchez. Sanchez 14 steals on the season. He's been caught four times. Higginson has yet to see a strike. He's seen six pitches from John Burkett, and they've all been balls. Four pitch walk in the first, and ahead here, 2 0 oh in the top of the third inning. Yankees on top of Tampa Bay, 2 0 tonight. His runner is off. Pitch lifted in the air down the left field line. Malire underneath it now has to buckle back. And a little English on it in the air, but it's out number one and Sanchez back to the bag. Yeah, a lot of times hitters uh, don't like that runner going on the 2-0 count. They like to Second leave him alone and, you know, 24. not have any distraction at all. That time Sanchez was off at first base. Higgins is swinging away 2-0 and pops out to left field. But a lot of times base runners or base dealers like to leave that count for the hitter. And again, that wind taking over just a bit out there in left field. And a check of Alex Sanchez at first base. The numbers combined between Milwaukee and here in Detroit, 22 of 32. Here he goes again, a pitch out. Red Sox have it snuffed out. Can they convert? Yes, they can. Jason Veritek guns down Alex Sanchez. Two down. And there's another runner caught stealing by Lojack. Go to boston.com slash Nesson to register to win. Alex Sanchez very anxious to run. He was off on the 2-0 count. Now he goes on the first pitch. The Red Sox call the pitch out. And uh, Todd Walker just waiting for him at second base. Veritek coming into the game has thrown out 26% of the runners. That will certainly go up. And it looks like uh, Sanchez may have jammed his wrist on that second base bag. The trainer attending to him immediately as he arrived at the steps. And he appears to be in a great deal of pain. Yeah, watch his left wrist as he hits that bag, kind of bends back on him, and uh, that's where he had some pain. All the dangers of the head first slide. One more look at that slide in a second, the tag, and then the wrist hits the, uh, the bag and just kind of stops. It doesn't give. Seems like you're at risk for any number of injuries going up oh, that way. Fingers, wrist, hand, elbow, shoulder. 
But there are guys who uh, that's the only way they feel comfortable sliding in a second. Ricky Henderson did it just about his whole career head first slides. It's like a finger, huh? It certainly does. That last finger, the pinky finger. The one two to Warren Morris. Slide right back to Burkett who snares it for the final out. John able to make the catch to end the inning. Two and a half deep, tied at one. Think there are any SUVs that compare to Ford Explorer? Look again. Explore XLT 4x4 is available with no charge third row seats, independent rear suspension, V6 engine, automatic, AC, and more. Now to celebrate Ford's 100th anniversary, get an Explore XLT 4x4 with your choice of 2,500 cash back plus 1,000 bonus cash or 0% financing and 1,000 bonus cash. Get to your New England Ford dealer now. If you haven't looked at Ford lately, look again. McDonald's new chicken McNuggets are made with all white meat and are sprinkled with seasonings created by a fine chef. We like to think of it as poulet mignon. At McDonald's. Yes, that McDonald's. Up to 16 varieties of spring greens, sweet, juicy grape tomatoes, four delicious Newman's Own all-natural dressings, three amazing new premium salads, only at one great place. McDonald's. Yeah, that McDonald's. What's in a name? Ask the new guys, Millar and Miller. Millar's name is spelled like Miller, but with an A. Miller's name is spelled like Mueller, but pronounced Miller. And views? You betcha. They aren't. Miller plays the hot corner. Millar swings a hot bat. You may need a lineup card to check the spelling, but when they're in the lineup, chances are you'll be adding a W. Tomorrow, Sox Tigers coverage at 12.30 on Nesson. Get your kicks with the Boston Breakers, New England's pro women's soccer team. Use your head and stay tuned to Nesson, your ticket to Boston Breakers action. Harry Francis makes the move, turns again, takes the shot, score! It's good to have goals. So tune in and catch the Breakers in WUSA competition on Nesson. Tonight, after Sox postgame, the Breakers take on the New York Power. Back at Fenway as the Red Sox in the midst of a tie ball game with the Tigers at one as we head to the home half of the third inning. Jason Veritek, Johnny Damon, and Todd Walker here in the third inning to face Mike Murat. Evens up at one and one to Veritek. Over the last seven games, Veritek has struggled a little bit at the plate. He's two for 24. At 083, he hits this one a ton to left. When it comes down, the Red Sox will have a lead. That'll come down, but out of the yard, up over the monster seats, and the Red Sox lead it 2-1. to The total shot by Jason Veritek. Veritek now with 11 home runs on the season, two from the right side of the plate. This one up and over the monster seats on a line. That's one of those in the old days, if you made it over the screen, you say, look out, Mass Pike. Damon, the two hopper to first up off the lip of the grass, but handled nicely by Witt, and there's one away. Red Sox and Tigers wrap up this series tomorrow with a special matinee here at Fenway Park at 1 o'clock. Tickets are available 24 hours a day, toll free at 877-RED SOX-9, online at redsox.com, or during business hours here at Fenway. Well, Jason Veritek has given the Red Sox an instant lead with his solo home run to begin this inning. Now Todd Walker a tap one back to the mound his first time up. He's done very well. 31 games against the Tigers at 340. And his time as a member of the Minnesota Twins mostly. Evans up at one and one. Grounded foul outside of first. 
Well, Marath, true to test, is usually right around the plate. His record, 2-11 and 11 coming in, but look at his walk total. So far tonight, he's not walked anybody. And coming into the ballgame tonight, 85 innings. He's walked only 18 this season. This is grounded by the mound softly. Warren Morris there. And there's two down. the reception this next gentleman is always high at Fenway Park but tonight it even seems more voracious as he makes his way to the home plate area with two down no Mark Garcia para five hit night last night lined out to left field his first time <laughs> oh, 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 oh. you know what I don't even know if voracious is a word been in that uh, dictionary this <laughs> afternoon <laughs> let's try to find something to explain how more it is tonight I'm told voracious is a word and that I used it correctly in a sentence. How about that? <laughs> Grabs the corner, one and one. Garcia Parra. How about more better? More better. Louder. You know what? I bet you I can't spell voracious, but it sounded good. Popped up. In the shallow right center, Warren Morris underneath it. Tiger's second baseman makes the catch. Veritek with a home run has put the Red Sox on top, two to one. At Mallside Discount, there are so many tools and tarps to choose from, you won't know where to start. Tools for the do-it-yourself or tools for industrial use, tools for the most demanding jobs, all at Mallside's deep discount prices. The walls are filled with hand tools and accessories like Black & Decker saw blades, drill bits, and router bits. Mallside Discount also has the area's best selection of tarps and sizes from 5 by 7 to 50 by 100. Come into Trailside Discount, where we have all you want and more. Trailside Discount is now open. For all you want and more, come visit Mallside Discount in Bangor and Trailside Discount in Newport. The Canadian Wild, where only the strong survive. Like the Bombardier Trackster Max, the world's first two-rider quad. And the new Outlander, so tough it was named ATV of the Year. So other ATVs, be warned. Out here, there's a place for things that don't have what it takes to survive. Bombardier ATVs, follow no one. Bombardier ATV, available at B&D Marine, 432 Wilson Street, Brewer. Hi, I'm Steve Schumann. Thank you for making Charlie's Mains number one new car and truck dealer. At Charlie's in Augusta, we have the best selection of Jeeps, like a brand new 2003 Jeep Wrangler for $14,995, or a brand new 2003 Jeep Liberty for $17,750, and the all new 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokee for $24,495. Come see our five star award winning team and get the best value in America at Charlie's. Come see why over 6,000 customers a year buy cars and trucks at our dealership. By Dunkin' Donuts and by G. Well, quite a view looking down at the crew and from up above on what is kind of a muggy night here tonight at Fenway Park, but certainly a welcome sight. And our summer has finally arrived here in Boston as we head to the top of the fourth inning. Red Sox on top 2-1. Dimitri Young, 5 for 11, with a couple of home runs off John Birkin. He grounded out his first time, new fielder's choice. Two and one now to Dimitri Young. You brought it up, I think, last night. One of the teams might have a little interest in Dimitri Young. And as a possibility as we get close to the trade deadline, certainly the toughest out in this order. Chopped right side over his Ortiz. He'll need Burkett, who's there. He gets the out on Dimitri Young for the first out of the inning. Well, it's time now for the Aflac trivia question and our question tonight. Who holds the Red Sox record for highest average at home in a season? we we'll have the answer for you in the next half inning. David Ortiz again making a fine play, this time raging to his right again. And uh, we'll feed Burkett, who's doing his job by covering first base. A nice feed up about let a high, something that he can handle. And tags that bag before the runner gets there. 
Yeah, you know, he mentioned Young. There's going to be a lot of names that are going to start to float around in the next uh, month or so as you get closer and closer to that trading deadline. Quite a few teams with either a chance to win their division or win a wild card spot. So there's going to be, I think, quite a bit of interest out there and a lot of different players. See, that kind of messes up some things, though, though, with so many teams in it, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, it sure does, you know. There are teams at this point who are evaluating their position and whether you're in it or you're not. That's how you decide whether or not you disband. Well, you figure there's three teams in the East. You've got uh, maybe three teams in the uh, Central mm -hmm. and two teams in the West right now. National League, uh, you know, Atlanta's pretty much running away with that thing, but uh, Montreal thinks maybe. You got Chicago, Houston, St. Louis, and Cincinnati, who are all very close. And then, of course, San Francisco and L.A. and Arizona getting back into it. So. There's quite a few teams that are still going to have a shot at postseason play. Strikeout number four for John Burkett. His latest victim is Kevin Witt. And there's two down. Kevin Witt just squints on this fastball from Burkett. A little bit of tail on it right back out over the middle of the plate. That's how we got an awful lot of those White Sox hitters in Chicago. That's where we stayed in the Ritz. I mean the uh, Four Seasons in Chicago. <laughs> still have fond memories, don't you? Oh. <laughs> Two down for Eric Munson. Munson struck out looking his first time in the first inning. One of four Ks for Burkett. Chopped to first. Ortiz backed up on it, and he'll still have time to take it along. A one-two-three inning for John Burkett. Red Sox on top to one. Hard work. experience lead to success Hamill Waxler Allen and Collins personal injury law great news. I appreciate it. Goodbye. Well, I've got some fantastic news. I'm out of here. No, it was Geico. I just saved myself a bunch of money on my car insurance. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Aggressive. Rugged. Authentic. Of all the thrilling lines on the Nissan Xterra, this may be the most interesting. The bottom line at the Nissan National Sales Event. Take advantage of 0.9 APR financing and 1,500 cash back on the tough, capable 2003 Xterra. But hurry, July 7th is the end of the line. NewEnglandPGA.com returns on Nesson for our fourth season. Before you hit the links this year, tune into Nesson on Sundays at 7.30 p.m. and Tuesdays at 5.30 p.m. As host John Dennis visits some of New England's best golf courses. Join us as we visit The Ranch, Riverbend, Queechy, Woodstock, Bethel Inn, and more. More tips, more info, more places to play. It's NewEnglandPGA.com, and it's here on Nesson, Sundays at 7.30 p.m. and Tuesdays at 5.30 p.m. Oh, no. We're back at Fenway as we head to the bottom of the fourth inning and Manny Ramirez leads it off. I'm sorry I'm the culprit of all your problems. I have kicked the switch which for some reason is by my foot. I don't know why they put it by my foot but you just lost your monitors. Well you have to get this thing this Cody thing off here exit it says. <laughs> this is the second time it's happened. I don't know where this box came from but there's a box in front of me that has a on-off switch, and I've kicked it twice. 1-1 one, one to Ramirez. Good offer, 2-1-1. Check with Bill Miller, the first base umpire. And he singled and scored his first time up in the second inning. One of three hits tonight for the Red Sox off Mike Marat. And that one gets away, 3-1. Ross pitching the season really not indicative of his 
his record, I should say, is not indicative of the way he's pitched. Two and 11 coming into tonight's action. We one shot down the third baseline. Eric Munson on a fair ball has it get by him. Backed up by the shortstop Infante, and as a result, Manny will, despite taking a very wide turn at first, return to the bag at first. Well, that's really the only way that Munson could uh, attack that ball. If he stays back, it's going to be a fair ball, and he's not going to get Manny at first base anyway. So he tries to charge it, hope that he can make that play on the in-between hop, but uh, can't get it, gets by him, and Ramirez has the single. So two hits for Manny Ramirez tonight. Evan Millar grounded back to the mound his first time. And that'll miss for ball one. Millar over the last six games on a torrid pace. And Kevin ahead, 2-0. They finally just did rule out a base mm -hmm. hit for Manny Ramirez. I really didn't think there was going to be any question on that, but it did take some time, but it is a base hit. So Manny two for two in the game tonight. Soft toss over to check on Ramirez. His lead was not terribly large. Red Sox trying to add on to their lead as they lead it two to one here into the bottom of the fourth inning. Nobody out. Lead man on. And Malai cranks the 2 0 into left field for a base hit. Ramirez up 90 feet to second. 2 on, nobody out. And we check in with Tom Karen. Tom? Okay, thanks very much, Tom. We're not ready for our not your typical fan just yet, but these guys are not your typical fan with a K because they're all tying the knot. 30 brides to be here. And Lisa, you got them all together for a night out. Yep. How'd you do that? Um, everyone just was really big Red Sox fans, and we all wanted to go out and de stress. So we all bought tickets together. We know each other through the not.com message boards. Now, this is a pretty wide range. we got somebody getting married next week. You're not getting married till 2005? Yeah, 2005. The longest engagement in history. And uh, we already asked them what the husbands are doing, and you basically said you don't care. <laughs> basically. <laughs> there are the Red Sox. Game, I don't care what the husbands to be are doing. Hi, Scott. <laughs> All right, so there you go. You got the hi, Scott. And guys, back to you. All right, Tom, thanks very much. Take control of that microphone, Tom. Feels like uh, Larry Merchant. The night in the ring, the 1-0. <laughs> Lifted in the air down the left field line. Dimitri Young moves over, and that ball will end up foul back into the seats. Now, that, that part of our program really has become my favorite part of the show. The Tom Karen segments? Absolutely. We don't have enough of him. We should have him four or five times a night at a minimum. Is there one part of Tom that you appreciate the most? Because I know I have many things about Tom that I really like. Is there one thing? Tom, you can leave now. Are you going to sit there all night? Or? Yeah, I, I think we're going to hang out here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was hoping that you'd say nice. Jerry, you can come down and tell us how each one of the weddings are going to do. <laughs> <laughs> the one, one. Why don't we go through each one? You use the telestrator and show us what you think. What do you mean? Uh, as to whether or not their marriages will last. Yes or no? Yeah. <laughs> why or an end, huh? Yeah, let's, let's just start yes. on the left and move across. Oh, yes. <laughs> no, they say 50 50, right? <laughs> right. Well, they take half. Ortiz lines it caught by Morris right elevate the double off Manny at second nice play by Warren Morris and it equals two outs can't hit the ball much harder than David Ortiz hit it the once you make contact you have uh, you really don't have any uh, know where the direction of the ball is going to be this time the direction is right into the glove of Warren Morris and he turns it into a double play that the Manny could do I mean it's one step and the ball sits so hard you you doubled up at second base. That's one of those you get back to hang with him. You know, you're swinging a bat well, and you don't want to hear that. <laughs> He'd rather have a little dribbler for a base hit. You can't believe it. Two down, Millard first, and here's Bill Miller. Singled his first time up. Did you say we should go to Tom Karen five or six times? Uh, with, without a doubt. Wow. I'm that is one of the most, that is a very popular segment of our broadcast. Uh, emails all the time about Tom Karen. Really? Yep. One lifted in the air to left. Dimitri Young is there and waiting. And he takes care of out number three. Red Sox leave a man we played for. 2-1 Boston. 
Okay, folks, let's get this party started. Uh, call Seattle. Get McGregor on the phone. Calling him now. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is Scott McGregor. I'll be out of the office all day. Please leave a message. That's not like McGregor. McGregor's not there? Great. Excuse me, there's a Mr. McGregor here to see you. Southwest Airlines last-minute fares. If you're paying more than $149 nonstop to Orlando or Tampa Bay, you're paying too much. You are now free to move about the country. Well, that about wraps it up. Any questions? You've been awfully quiet, Bob. Bob? Thirsty for a cold drink? Try a refreshing iced coffee from the coffee experts at Dunkin' Donuts. Bob? The secret's out. Stop by today and get our 64-ounce summer sipper filled with any variety iced coffee for just $6.99. Just the thing to keep you cool this summer. See the only movie this summer that's scary as hell. Did you hear that? Intensely scary. My palms are sweaty. I was jumping out of my seat. 28 days later. Awesome. Rated R starts Friday only in theaters. There are ordinary disposable razors, but now there's new Sensor 3 from Gillette. Totally new handle. Three blades on springs that adjust to your face. No disposable shapes better. It could be the best disposable you ever threw away. New Gillette Sensor 3. The Lexus ES. Highest ranked entry luxury sedan in initial quality by J.D. Power & Associates. And just when you thought it couldn't get any better, now it comes with a very special lease. See your Boston area Lexus dealer. Top of the fifth inning. Back at Fenway, Red Sox on top, two to one. John Burkett has retired five Tigers in a row. As he faces Craig Monroe to begin things here in the fifth. Monroe grounded out to shortstop his first time up. Tigers have just two hits against John Burkett so far tonight. To Hopper to Nomar. Backhands and throws for out number one. It's time now for our Affleck trivia question to answer. And our question tonight, who holds the Red Sox record for highest average at home in a season? Ted Williams, 428 in 1941. Here at home, on the road, he hit 380. And of course, the result was 406 overall that season. A.J. Hinch struck out swinging in the second inning. And Skies one foul off the right side. Garcia Pyron into left field. A.J. Hinch breaks up a string of six in a row, retired by Burkett. Well, tonight, following our postgame show, stay tuned for the Boston Globe Sports Plus, hosted by Bob Lobel. Tonight's guests include Jackie McMullen and Bob Ryan. Kevin DuPont will have a one-on-one -on -one interview with New Bruins coach Mike Sullivan. That's tonight after the postgame show on Nesson. One out, one on. And Omar Infante being the next hitter. He struck out his first time. I finally get a chance to see that show. It seems like we've yeah. been on the road all the time. And by the time I get home, that'll be just about just about right. How did you see it? No, I haven't seen it. Oh, you haven't? No. I thought you said you finally got a chance to see it. No, I haven't seen it either. Tonight. Oh, well, that's right. Once you get the Rem Dog helicopter to come in here and take you back to Weston. If I took that blimp home, I'd never make that show. That, <laughs> that thing doesn't even move. I, don't, I wouldn't want to be up in that. I don't really like blimps. I think it's great that they're here tonight. And they provided us with great shots. And when you hang it like, first. you know, up in the air, you like to have some movement. Sort of have a blimp phobia. I don't know what that uh, disease is, but I have it. 
New England's leading. <laughs> New England's leading Derry Hood is proud to bring you aerial pictures from the Hood Lightship. Learn more about the Hood Blimp. Click on to www.hphood.com. Yeah, it's going a little quicker now. Most can our producer suggested that I read one of those quickly after I said I don't like blimps. Maybe I will take that home. It is moving quicker now. I don't know. The whole idea of something sort of hitting you or you can't get a window seat, can you? I think they're all window seats, actually. I well, think you're up, you're up front, yeah. What are the things on the side? Oh, I was I was talking about sitting up, up in the blimp itself. You can't do that. Oh, like that. no, that's where other stuff is. It's very dangerous. <laughs> Two one, runners off, and it's fouled off by Omar Infante. Sit inside right up front. I guess they tell me I can't do that. No. There's no smoking in there either <laughs> if you go up in that, that big pot there. <laughs> two two. A little looper. Back goes Nomar. He'll run it down in shallow center field. Nomar got a terrific jump on this ball. A lot of times something that's uh, hit that soft on a line will fool an infielder, but uh, Garcia Parra got a very good jump on this, right at contact, and he's able to go back about five or six steps to make that catch. Two down for Alex Sanchez, a number nine hitter, single to center field his first time. One of three Detroit hits tonight. This for a ball to Sanchez. I mentioned last night that Nomar with his big night to had tied Ichiro. Uh, later on, of course, Ichiro played. He got a couple of hits, so he leads Nomar by two for the most hits in the American League. Ichiro second in average. Nomar third. Melvin Mora continues to lead at 361. Sanchez bunts at it, fouls it off. One and one. Well, it seems like catches really get banged up on those guys that, you know, they try to bunt, they foul them off, and they catch is bouncing out of there trying to make a play, and it always seems to get hit with that foul ball. And Sanchez hits on top of it, and, yeah, that's very painful. Let's get the glancing blow. Burkett has thrown 70 pitches tonight, 44 for strikes. As he works with two down on the top of the fifth inning. And falls behind two and one. Burkett in search of his sixth win of the year tonight. He comes in at five and three and watchful eyes of Brady Little and Dave Wallace, interim pitching coach. able to lock it down and Burkett falls behind three and one catches will tell you that generally the curveball is the easiest one to block it's slower you have a chance to get in position obviously the harder they throw the fastball splitter slide of those are more difficult than the curveball First strike in a full count now to Alex Sanchez. Payoff pitch, runner off, and the pitch fouled off off the left side. It shall return to the bag and be off again. The next pitch. 74 pitches for Burkett in the game. 46 of those for strikes. Inch 
Stop again in the 3-2 in the air to center field. Over goes Johnny Damon into left center. And that'll do it. Tigers leave a man. They've stranded two in the game. And the Red Sox have a 2-1 lead. The Hyundai Sonata, ranked most appealing entry midsize car. More standard features than a Toyota Camry LE, including a V6 engine. All for over 2,400 less when comparably equipped. Add in America's best warranty, 10 years, 100,000 miles, and you win. Test drive the Hyundai Sonata starting at just $14,999. At your Hyundai dealer. Hurry in and get a 2003 Sonata with $1,000 cash back or 0% APR at your local Hyundai dealer. I have some good news. I'm taking you out. Oh, you said you had good news. I do. I just saved a bunch of money on my car insurance by switching to Geico. Give me the ball. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Live. Local. Late breaking. If this isn't reality TV, yes, it is. it's news to us. Sox win it six times. Red Sox baseball on Nesson. Get real. Go Sox. Reality TV at its most competitive. Two teams compete. Strategy helps, but only one survives. Red Sox baseball on Nesson. Get real. Go Sox. NewEnglandPGA.com returns on Nesson for our fourth season. Before you hit the links this year, tune into Nesson on Sundays at 7.30 p.m. and Tuesdays at 5.30 p.m. As host John Dennis visits some of New England's best golf courses. Join us as we visit The Ranch, Riverbend, Queechy, Woodstock, Bethel Inn, and more. More tips, more info, more places to play. It's NewEnglandPGA.com. And it's here on Nesson, Sundays at 7.30 p.m. and Tuesdays at 5.30 p.m. Don Orsillo and Jerry Remy back at Fenway Park. Last of the fifth inning. Red Sox on top, two to one. As Damian Jackson leads it off. Jackson lined out to shortstop on the first pitch that he saw in the second inning. And this time showing bunt, grabbing the attention of third baseman Eric Munson. Damian Jackson playing against his former club, the Detroit Tigers. Trying to break it 0 for 15 with this at bat. And Barath working here in the fifth inning and has thrown only 52 pitches in his outing. So he's in very good shape. He's given up two runs over the first four. And Jackson appeared to punch at it, did he? Yes, he did. Bill Miller says he offered one and two. Does not have a strikeout in the ball game tonight through the first four innings, but and again he's not walked anybody either. He is one two. He is up at two and two to Jackson. Fifth season in the major leagues for Damian Jackson. First came up with the Indians organization. He strikes out this time. First strikeout for Moran. Let's take a look at the game summary as we play here in the bottom of the fifth. Jason Veritek solo home run gave the Red Sox a 2-1 lead after Bill Miller's RBI single in the bottom of the second. Higginson led off with a walk. He came around to score for Detroit's lone run. Mike Barat, four and a third, giving up two runs. And John Burkett, over five innings, giving up one run. One away for Jason Veritek. It is 11th home run of the season back in the third inning. A solo shot that cleared everything in left field. Hits it well again to left. Back goes Young. It's over his head and a one hop the wall. Young retrieves it quickly and Veritek can be held to just a single. Veritek who came into this game only two for his last 24. Two hits in the ball game. The first, the home run back in the third inning. A line shot up before the monster seats. 
And now Veritek adds his second hit of the night. Another line drive, this time up over the head of uh, Dimitri Young out in left field. So Veritek, after being two for 24, a couple of quick hits in this ballgame tonight. That ball hit almost as hot as the home run, just uh, not quite as high. Johnny Damon's 0 for 2. He's fly to right, grounded out to first base. That's with one out and one on. And Damon riding a hitting streak. Now 13 games into tonight, looking for his first hit. He's 0 for 2. Hitting at 339 during the 13 gamer. His longest hitting streak since he had an 18 gamer. April 15th through May 8th of last season. And there for a strike, one and one to Damon. The Sox as a club, second in hitting at 292, only behind Toronto's league leading average of 296 for that matter major league leading 296 batting average and Sox overall second in the major leagues as the Red Sox and Blue Jays both in the 290s in batting average nobody in the National League in the 290 St. Louis leading the NL at 288 collectively as a club Again, unlikely. As a Veritek not a very big lead there at first base, getting back to the bag. Well, Veritek almost never has a straight out steal, but what he'll do on occasion is use the delay steal. A lot of times, though, that player is put on with two outs when those infielders are back. Damon down one and two. Ooh, he's grabbing his arm. And he did something to the bicep on that cut. After that pitch and strikes out. Mike Maroth had no strikeouts through the first four innings. He's got two here in the fifth. Take a look at the pitch before the last one, the one that Damon appeared to uh, hurt his bicep on in the swing. And then Marat comes right back with that slider down and away and gets Johnny to chase one off the outside corner. Now there's more of a chance of a delay steal with two outs. The middle infielders are back on that grass. Here he goes. The delayed steal. The throw down. Veritek is still out. And that will do the inning as A.J. Hinch throws him out. We've played 5-2-1 Boston. Chances are you'll be adding a W. Tomorrow, Sox Tigers coverage at 12.30 on Nesson. Hypnotic. Aggressive. Liquid. Riveting. Of all the thrilling lines that Nissan brings you, this may be our most interesting. The bottom line at the Nissan National Sales Event. Get 0.9% financing or up to 1500 cash back on select new Nissans. But hurry, July 7th is the end of the line. Whatever happened to the house call? The doctor would show up at the front door and treat the patient right there at home. Who does that anymore? Well, SBC does. Won't be long. 
Only our black bag is a yellow laptop. They may not be doctors, but they do make house calls. Phone? I have good news. The customer. That's who we answer to. SBC. Well, we'd like to welcome today's visitors to the Dunkin' Donuts uh, dugout seats. Dunkin' Donuts is proud to host area youth and charity organizations at every Red Sox home game. We'd also like to thank them for dropping off refreshments to the booth. There's those dugout yeah. seats. Bobby Higginson will lead it off here in the top of the sixth inning. He walked and scored in the first. A long Tigers run tonight, and then he flied to left in the third. Actually, those dugout seats, you may have a better view of the game than in the real dugout. Some dugouts are brutal. Yeah. I mean, you look out, you can't see uh, anything. You, some of the fields are uneven. You can't see a left fielder from, <laughs> from the first base dugout. I thought one of the worst dugouts I've ever sat in was Yankee Stadium. Yeah, but you know, they, they fixed the field there. It used to be, if you were in that third base dugout, you couldn't see your right fielder. You could see right. about half his body. <laughs> but uh, they have redone the field uh, in the last couple of years. It's nice and level now, it's so you can, uh, it's much easier to see out there. But usually some of the worst view is uh, from the dugout. How about their old dugout at Tiger Stadium? Oh, that was, they were the worst. You couldn't fit, you couldn't fit half your team in the dugout. <laughs> half guys would stay in the clubhouse to watch the game on TV. A little roster smaller at some point that they made that decision. The players were smaller, I guess. <laughs> strike three to Bobby Higginson. Fifth strikeout for John Burkett. We mentioned a delay steal, and what that's supposed to do, it's usually guys that don't have great speed try it. You try it when the infield's back with the two outs. You're trying to catch those guys with their head down when the ball goes by the hitter. That time they're all aware of it. And uh, they easily throw out Veritek at second base. But it's usually by a guy that does not run all that well. You take three crow hop steps. When the ball gets by the hitter, you take off a second, and you hope to catch one of the min middle infielders or the catcher taking a nap. Warren Morris singled in the first. He lined out to the pitcher, John Burkett, in the third. As one of only three hits tonight for the Tigers. Carroll tells me that when Tiger Stadium was built, because you mentioned those very small mm -hmm. dugouts, at those times, uh, in those days, the rosters were about 20 to 22 guys. Okay. You're at 25 now, plus you have all the coaches, you have, you know, the trainers and everybody else, and even more in September. Now, Detroit went from the smallest dugouts in the world to probably the <laughs> biggest at <laughs> Duke America Park. You could drive a semi through their dugout now. <laughs> And you see a lot of the guys in those new dugouts sitting up close to the fence. I guess if you sit way back, it might be hard to see. So they made the adjustment to the bigger dugout. You should have seen the old clubhouse at Tiger Stadium. Oh, my goodness. Real nice, top of the line. A starting pitcher could get knocked out of a game. This is before they redid it. You could walk up and would literally take a shower and still watch the game through the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> Remember one of the angel pitches? I can't remember his name. He got knocked out of the game, and he says, "I got to go up there, take a shower, and I got to watch my run score from the shower." <laughs> no ball, four to Warren Morris. One out, one off. Check out the Heineken. What's on tap? Final game of this series tomorrow will be on the year 12:30 with you. And the Marlins come in as interleague play begins again. UPN 38 in Boston, Nesson outside of Boston on Friday. Saturday we're with you, and again on Sunday to round out this homestand against the Tigers and Marlins. And the Red Sox will be traveling on the off day Monday and begin a series against the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Seems like a long time since we've been in Tampa Bay. When were we there? First series of the year, right? Very first series. We opened up there. Yeah, that's right. Kyle Crawford with a home run in uh, game mm -hmm. one. Yep. We got out of the game, then uh, game two was a 16-inning affair, which Kevin Millar ended in the 16th inning. Always seems to be a very interesting series with the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. The Tampa Hotel is always your favorite. You're going to be sort of blasé about it now after your experience in Chicago. Ah, it's a wonderful hotel, but it could really go five-star if it brings a toaster with breakfast. <laughs> that was the deciding factor. One of them. <laughs> 
Our foul by Dimitri Young, two and one. Oh, and that reminds me, too. We, we never did bring this up on air, but we were talking in Chicago about the nice slippers yes. that uh, were laid in front of your bed. We'll, we'll come to find out that our crew at Nesson, and I won't mention many names like Orsillo, <laughs> stole <laughs> a couple of pair. Oh, no, wait a minute. And Mike Narachi stole three pair. Let's see, steel is such a... They're not gifts. There's a fine line. Steel. I didn't see anything wrapped up with a gift bow on it to take with you. The word steel. The two on is grounded foul. Let me ask you this. Are you borrowing it? You're going to bring if, it back next time? If you wear the slippers that are in little disposable packages that they give you... Yeah, they clean them up. Do they keep them and then turn around and give them to the next guest? I don't, I, don't, I don't think so. I think they throw them away. I don't think they're put there for you to take home with you. I mean, did you take the bed? <laughs> The Rachi would have, but he couldn't fit it in his back. <laughs> That's because his candles were in there. <laughs> in the left center field, a drive that'll end up back by the wall on a hop for Dimitri Young. Warren Morris is trying to motor his way all the way around to the plate. The throw is closed, but in time, they got him. Jason Veritek reaches around to get him. And Nomar Garcia Parra's throw on the cutoff. And out at the plate is Warren Morris. Now well, put a big star next to Jason Veritek on this play. A perfect relay from Johnny Damon to Garcia Parra. But watch the play that Veritek makes at the end of this. Plays it on one bounce and gets the body before it hits the plate. This is a terrific play by Veritek. Look at that. Gets him right on the back and that ball's a snow cone in the glove. I mean, he makes this play like a hockey goalie and then applies the tag and somehow keeps the ball in the glove. What a play by Jason Veritek. And that's not an easy hop to handle. That's not one that bounced five feet out in front of him. Wow. They don't get any better than that right there. Well, outstanding play by Jason Veritek and go from Garcia Parr out there in shallow left center. Two down, Demetri Young standing at second base, and the lead intact for the Red Sox still on top, two to one. Thanks to that fine effort by Veritek. Devin Witt's 0 for 2 tonight. Veritek having some kind of night for the Red Sox. The home run, the base hit, and that defensive play right there. I don't think you'll go all season with seeing a better play at home plate. Now you're going to see collisions. You're going to see, you know, a guy get knocked down, hold on to the ball. But to make a pick like that, apply the tag with a snow cone, and hold on to the baseball, that's pretty good. worth another look at that play at home plate by Jason Veritek. Look where that ball bounces and look at him pick it. Get the tag on the back. Look at the snow cone. It's an incredible play by Veritek. And given the signs with the hand with the runner at second base. 2-1. Chopped right side. Todd Walker backs up on it, still plays it, and throws out Kevin Wick. And quite an inning to keep the lead intact. Red Sox on top 2-1. It's for every yard, 
every minute, every second. And it's for dedication. It's for sticking to your principles. And it's for technology, not gimmickry. And it's for shoes that fit better. Because shoes that fit better perform better. At Bob's, we know our customers. And we know New Balance is one of the brands they live in. You want the best values in America? Well, they're here now at the Dodge Summer Sales Drive. Where you'll find our best product. Like Dodge Caravan. With over 32 standard features. And available bucket seats. And our best deals. Get up to a $3,500 cash allowance. Or 0% APR financing for 60 months on Caravan. All with Dodge's 7-year, 70,000-mile powertrain limited warranty. Let us prove we got the best values in America. Hurry to your Dodge dealer today. Back at Fenway Park, ready for the bottom of the sixth inning. Red Sox on top, two to one, as Todd Walker leads it off in the bottom of the sixth inning. And we are joined by certainly the star of tonight's game, uh, the uh, wife of Jason Veritek, Karen Veritek, joins us. Karen, how are you? I'm good, thanks. It's been a pretty terrific night for Jason. I know, I've missed a few of the things. I had to see the replay of the home run downstairs on TV, so. Well, it's even better on Nessie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jason with a fine play at the plate as well. Were you making your way up here at that time? I was peeking down from right back here, so oh, I saw right. it. So. Well, the picnic in the park is coming up, and I know they've added some new items for the auction. Absolutely. We have some really exciting things. This is a big one. We may just have a couple Bruce Springsteen tickets in the auction. You have to come to find out for sure. Um, so that's really exciting. I know people are wanting those. And um, we also have um, autographed items from James and Kim Taylor in the Boston Symphony Orchestra. We have... This is slowly chopped right side. Kevin Witt will need the pitcher, Maroth, who is there. You know, the first out of the inning. It looks terrific. This is Sweet Baby James, signed by James Taylor. Wow. Which is really exciting. I love him. That should, bring, that should bring a pretty good price. Yeah. And Debbie Little was even stressing it'd be a really cool baby gift. Like, Look. you know, someone that was named James, the baby. So that's a kind of a neat idea. I see you also but, got a letter there from Ben Affleck, too. I know we do. I'm, I think that's why I'm, like, so nervous tonight. Honestly, we just ha we're downstairs having a meeting, and we got a letter from Ben Affleck. Basically just saying that he's a huge fan and impressed with what we've done. And um, he and J-Lo, I guess I should call her wow. Jennifer Lopez, are going to provide some items for us. So we don't know exactly what, but they're going, that's really exciting. It could be a uh, Mercedes, it could be Yeah, anything. exactly. <laughs> Bentley, I don't know. But, um, and also, I, I think they're checking out our auction items, and they may be bidding on some of our stuff. Now that so would even that's be really better. Cool. Yeah. yeah. And maybe they can come to one of our events in the future. So he's actually filming um, in Canada, so he's unable to come. So, but that's really exciting, and we just want everybody to come. Tickets are still available. Um, call 888-DIABETES um, to buy tickets. It's really going to be a lot of fun. And um, the auction items are just outstanding. Oh, well, so there's something about Grady Little in the dugout. Have a chance to sit with him at some point, Absolutely, too? Absolutely, yep. Um, sit with um, Grady Little in the dugout. We're going to have a, a spot where guys are going to be signing autographs and taking pictures. So um, you can tour the field, you know, see the bullpen. Um, Eat, hang out. Well, why don't we take a look at uh, some of your husband's highlights since All you may right. have missed some of them. We'll put them in a whole collage. Right. With, uh, yeah, these might be worth something Sunday. You never know these highlights. <laughs> you know, the base hit. And this is my favorite highlight, the coming up, the play at the plate. I think this is one of the best plays we've seen all year. That's great. Good job. Hanging on to it story if you guys have time sure, for it. We have plenty of time. We were at Barnes and Noble today, um, Jason and I, reading our children's book and um, signing, and he read the part that says that grand slams are sometimes hit over the green monster, and I said, not anymore, now that we have the green monster seats, they're not. And then tonight, he hits home run wow. over it, so he proved that. me wrong, I guess. It's kind of <laughs> ironic. It's funny. We'll get it out of here for his 11th home run of the year, Ramirez standing in and taking a strike. Delmar at first one away. We are visiting with Karen Veritek as the picnic in the park is uh, coming upon us here very quickly on Sunday. It is Sunday, um, 6 o'clock for VIP tickets and 6.30.
um, an hour after the game or an hour and a half, respectively. Tickets are still available. Please call 888-DIABETES, or you can also go online. Let me make sure I give that. It's www. Lomar takes off and successfully grabs second without a throw. www.diabetes.org or 888-DIABETES. Nomar going on that first move by Marath. As soon as the leg goes up, he's off and no contest at second base. Garciaparra picks up his seventh steal of the season. And speaking of Nomar, I understand that uh, Mia Hamm is going to have a signed soccer ball and as well. I, you know, I almost brought that up. Instead, I brought this signed song. But Nomar and Mia both signed a ball together. Wow. So we have it in our possession. So that's pretty exciting. Well, what I would do... If I were you, I would get some kind of bidding war going between J-Lo and Ben because we know yeah. that they both like to spend a lot of money. I mean, it's, it's public <laughs> knowledge. They do a lot of shopping. Mm -hmm. And I would say that uh, get them involved with something, one of the jackets that they both like. and Hopefully we can. Price goes up. Having them both go back and forth against each other. Absolutely. Yeah. I see what you're saying. They can call over the phone, bid online. We'll, see. we'll take anything. So we have a lot of great things. So we also, this is a neat one too, anyone that hates the Yankees like we do. Um, we have the six pitchers for Houston that threw the no-hitter against the Yankees Whoa. on a ball. <laughs> that's great. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, that is a collector's item, that's for sure. Potentially walk Ramirez here as Rock got down three and one. He not walked anybody through the first five, but back-to-back -back walks. Well, this inning is the Foxwoods fantasy inning. Tonight's contestant is Wally Sullivan of Melrose, Mass. The Red Sox hit a home run this inning. Wally will win dinner for two and a free night stay at Foxwoods Resort Casino. For your chance to win, visit boston.com slash Nessie. One, on, one out, two on here for the Red Sox. An opportunity for them in the last of the sixth inning. Kevin Millar, the hitter. He is one for two. And it takes the strike from Murat. It's had to be a lot of fun for you guys planning this. So we've talked to so many of the wives this season, and it sounds like everybody's excited about it. It's been fun. I, I really have to thank Jason because I've had him in the in the locker room getting a lot of things signed by our players. So thank him for doing that. But um, I have another auction item I just thought of. We go to Bible study in the winter in Atlanta, and Kevin and Rena Millwood mm -hmm. attend, and we got a, a ball signed by him. And then this year he throws the no-hitter with the Phillies, and I told Jason, wow, that ball's worth more now. So that's kind of exciting. Um, I don't know. We've really just come across a lot of great items. Well, you've come to be very excited about the jackets. We're a little disappointed you did not bring your jacket. Well, my jacket's not um, too... <laughs> you know, Jason and I are not artists. I'll just say that. And I tried really hard, but everyone else's jackets look so awesome. And I'm really embarrassed by ours. But I hope that someone will feel sorry for us and bid on it. <laughs> anyway, I'm serious when I say that, because I don't know. Well, we saw Millar's uh, on the road. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I know. Everybody's. Motorcycle and fire. He's got uh, <laughs> lightning going down the sleeves, red socks, all kind of stuff on there. Well, our, uh, the, I kind of did it, and Jason signed it. I can't really say that he did it. I really did the art, artwork, I should say. But it has 33, and he signed it. So that's kind of unoriginal, but I don't know. Yeah, but at least you could wear it somewhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Some of them, I, I'm not sure you'd want to, I mean, you know, put them up in the house as a right. souvenir. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Mike Baroth in a jam here as he has pitched very well tonight, but with one out, Red Sox have two on. Garcia Pirates second, Ramirez at first, one away. And the 3 2 will have to wait as he spirals off the backside of the mound. Red Sox do run a lot on the 3 2 count. We'll see if they have Garcia Pirates, Ramirez going with Millar at the plate. Roth not necessarily a strikeout pitcher. It could happen. Just a one-run game right now. The Red Sox on top, 2-1, trying to add to it. There go the runners, and Malai sends it on the ground to shortstop. No play at second. And because the runners were off, a double play is avoided. The Red Sox have two in scoring position now at two down. Now that's a pretty good gamble by Grady Little because uh, you got speed at second base in Garcia Parra. Uh, Marath is not a strikeout pitch. You're pretty confident Millar is going to make contact. And by sending the runners, you stay out of the double play. Here's the uh, look towards second base. Can't get Ramirez out at first base. And the Red Sox still have something going this inning instead of having the double play to end the inning. 
Aaron Ortiz coming up. Karen also had a book signing in Barnes and Noble with the crew. And cheers for Fenway Park A to Z. Yeah, that, well, our ABC book that oh. us girls did, we um, had a few readings um, to the kids at Barnes and Noble. And we're also going to be doing that um, signing books at Cheers, the two Cheers locations. Um, and, you know, whatever else is available out there, we're willing to go and sell them and sign them. So we also have the canned food drive, obviously, coming up in July, which is exciting. We're doing the signed cards again, like last year, which really went over well, the guys signing the cards. And um, we're doing the fashion show again in September um, with the Heritage on the Garden shops, like we did last year. Um, and those proceeds are going to the Gillette Women's Center at Dana-Farber. So we're trying to be involved and do a lot of different charity things so well, you and the wives and especially you because you're now here a lot longer than the rest of the wives have done such a marvelous job over the years and certainly we appreciate it as do many of the Red Sox fans we enjoyed it really feels good when people say wow I really like the book and you know we put the work into it and we're just so glad that people like it so and the good news uh, the long-range forecast looks like the weather's gonna be good <laughs> finally this week we hope so yeah. I, we were a little nervous about that actually but I don't know. We don't mind if it's hot as long as it just doesn't rain. That's right. And it seems like it's rained every weekend uh, so far this spring. So I think we're due for a dry one. <laughs> we better not jinx it by saying that, right? <laughs> two one is chopped down the first baseline foul, and it evens up at two and two to David Ortiz. Well, again, we hope you come out to picnic in the park on Sunday. And again, for details, you can go to www.diabetes.org or you can call 1-888-DIABETES and be a part of what will be a, an amazing night, I think, here at Fenway Park on Sunday. 2-2. Ortiz again, rounding a foul into the Red Sox dugout this time. And this could be one of those game-breaking at-bats right here. A 2-1 to one ball game, a base hit here gives the Red Sox a 4-1 to one lead as we get into the final three innings. Good battle put on by David Ortiz. Marat trying to get out of the jam here unscathed. The 2-2. Two -two. Got him, and he does get out of it unscathed. Karen Veritek, thank you very much. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Red Sox fans are big game hunters. Fenway's always... Subaru, driven by what's inside. And inside Quark Subaru, the best price, the best selection, and the best service. Don't buy elsewhere and make a $1,000 mistake. Quark Subaru will beat any advertised price, period. Driven by low interest, how about financing as low as 0%? Selection, over 200 Subarus in the park. Outbacks, Foresters, Legacies, Impresses, the biggest selection in Maine. And a service department driven by the Quark reputation. Don't make that $1,000 mistake. Quark Subaru will beat any advertised price, period. The Canadian Wild, where only the strong survive. Like the Bombardier Traxster Max, the world's first two-rider quad. And the new Outlander, so tough it was named ATV of the Year. So other ATVs, be warned. Out here, there's a place for things that don't have what it takes to survive. Bombardier ATVs. Follow no one. Get your Bombardier at Chase Toys in Unity. 948-5729. So, do you, do you hate baseball? No, I like baseball. I just never understood how you guys could spend so much time discussing it. I mean, I've been to games, but I don't memorize who played third base for Pittsburgh in 1960. Don Hoke. Don, Don Hoke. Hoke. Beat you. Baseball tonight, all season long on ESPN and ESPN2. Trailside Discount is now open. For all you want and more, come visit Mallside Discount in Bangor and Trailside Discount in Newport. Brought to you by your Lincoln Mercury dealers. By Samuel Adams Boston Lager. By New England Toyota dealers. And by Citizens Bank. Don Orsillo and Jerry Remy back at Fenway Park. And the Tigers getting out of a pretty major jam in the bottom of the sixth inning. As we head to the seventh, the Red Sox bring on right-hander Mike Timlin. Mike Timlin appearing in his 33rd game of the season for the Red Sox. A record of 3 and 2, ERA of 3.71. Still only four walks for Timlin and 32 strikeouts in 43 and two-thirds. His last outing Monday against the Tigers. He picked up the save in that game, working an inning, allowing a couple of hits and one earned run. 
The Red Sox Fantasy Camp for Kids is coming up August 18th through 19th at the Melrose Sports Complex. Boys and girls age 7 to 15 will enjoy two days of baseball instruction, games, and appearance by Red Sox Hall of Famer Louis Tion, and a trip to Fenway Park where campers will be introduced on the baselines on August 19th. To reserve your spot, call 1-800-336-2267. Eric Munson leads it off down the third baseline to let it roll. And the rolls foul. Timlin, for good measure, kicks it further foul. And Munson will have to come on back. Timlin takes over for John Burkett. That's what you want to do if you're bunting down that third base line and to try to put it right on the line. If it doesn't have it go foul, it gives you another chance. And Timlin waiting for that ball to get uh, past that chalk and then give it a little push just to make sure. Burkett's numbers tonight before departing. Six innings, four hits, one run, and walk two. One of those walks came around to score, and he struck out five. He leaves hoping the bullpen can help him out as the Red Sox have a one-run lead here on top, two to one. Eric Munson's 0 for two. He struck out looking in the first, grounded out to first base in the fourth inning. down the first baseline. Timlin will pick it up in fairground and apply the tag himself for the first out. Stay tuned after the game for W.B. Mason's Extra Innings, New England's Red Sox postgame show with extra highlights, extra interviews, and extra analysis hosted by Bob Rogers and a new lineup of studio analysts. After the last inning, the action is just beginning. down for Craig Monroe who's done the same thing twice tonight he grounded to short in the second and again in the fifth towards the right field corner over goes Jamie and Jackson on to the track to reel it in two down it was a great overhead look at Fenway Park tonight on a terrific night that's the way we were looking at the field when we did the game from the uh, Monster seats. <laughs> Not quite so high, but it's only the same direction as the first one popped up foul back and out of play by A.J. Hinch. Oh, man. Luxury box people. Al Bean uh, had a chance oh. at that. Was it Carl or Danny, I think. Was Danny it? Cashel, yeah. Well, let's see. A little late with the draw there. Oh, look at that. Takes it right away from Bean. I mean, yeah, it was Carl's ball. Call the ball off, Carl. Call him off. No real energy there either. Randy Cashel with the mouth, and certainly Carl. See, I could see Carl calling for it, too. I got it, I got it. And here comes Danny. He just jumps right in front of him and blows the play. A strong voice. I'm sure everybody can hear him calling for it. We're going to miss one and two the count. Well, again, not everybody can catch balls up here at the press level. They come at such an angle and sometimes very, very fast. One, two. They swung on and missed. And Timlin strikes out a hitch. It's a one, two, three, top of the seventh. Two, one, Boston.
television's longest running reality romance competition. And this season, we're covering over 120 days. True love makes great TV. Red Sox baseball on Nessie. Get real. Go Sox. It's America's favorite talent showcase. Young hopefuls compete to become the next superstars in their field. It's reality TV, and there's nothing idle about it. Red Sox baseball on Nesson. Get real. Go Sox. New England's great outdoors. Peaceful. Tranquil. Not anymore. With a whole new season of Nesson Outdoors. Hosted by the Mad Fisherman, Charlie Moore. With a new lineup of outdoor programming. Including Charlie Moore Outdoors, Divers Down, Northeast Journal, and the debut of Camo Country. For outdoor adventure and a whole lot of more, it's Nesson Outdoors. Sponsored by Obishan Hardware. Sundays at 8 on Nesson. Live. Local. Late breaking. If this isn't reality TV, yes, it is. it's news to us. Sox win it six five. Red Sox baseball on Nesson. Get real. Go Sox. Reality TV at its most competitive. Two teams compete. Strategy helps, but only one survives. Red Sox baseball on Nesson. Get real. Go Sox. Boston Red Sox baseball on Nesson is brought to you by the Bone and Joint Center, Caritas St. Elizabeth. We don't have to be a star to be treated like one. That's on to the bottom of the seventh inning, and Bill Miller leads it off and grounds the first one foul. Miller is one for two as he singled in the second and flied out to left in the fourth inning. Grounded outside the line at third, and it's 0-2 now to Miller. Let's see where all the uh, entire seniority thing works out in the big leagues, and I realize I'm only a third-year guy, but I really feel like a third-year guy tonight because you have your big fan, which is back behind you, the blows only on you. But Jerry Trupiano to our right has added to his repertoire now. He has added a fan also next to him, which... Uh, is coming from the window and he's actually got it applied to the side of the window blowing in. I have nothing. And your point is? Well, my point is I just want to let you know that I know where I stand. Well, do you have any idea that if you reach into your back pocket and take out some cash you can buy a fan? <laughs> There's that little trophy's got a nice little setup there. There's that big one back there. Look at this. Could you get a bigger fan? It's like a back of a plane. It's huge. Long on and missed by Miller and a strikeout for Mike Maroth. Fourth K of the night for Maroth. There's one away. Well, Maroth has pitched a, a fine game tonight here against the Red Sox, but right now trailing by one run looks like a slider. Damian on the outside Jackson. part of the plate to pick up the strikeout. You know, I watched uh, some of these guys pitch uh, from this Detroit team, and uh, it's hard to believe that their records are as bad as they are, but of course they've had trouble scoring runs. Bonderman we saw him in the first game of the series. Pitched well. This one fouled back by Jackson. And Roth 2 and 11. I guess you don't score runs. Certainly not going to help your record. Ends up at 1 and 1 to Damian Jackson. Look at uh, the outings for Mike Maroth over the season, and he's hung in there. A lot of them, a lot of seven and eights, seven and two thirds. He was the opening day starter for the Tigers, the first left handed opening day starter since Justin Thompson in 1998. And only been five Tigers left handers to start on opening day since 1968. I would guess that would be part of the pitching coach's responsibility when you see the terrible win loss numbers but the constant reminder to young pitchers that hey you're throwing the ball good you're doing fine. We'll count now to Damian Jackson. Action in the Boston pen. Alan Embry up out there after Timlin worked a one two three seventh inning. 
to left field. Dimitri Young moves over and won't have a play. One out, one on. Let's check in with Tom Karen. TC? Don, thank you. Time for our Citizens Bank Night, your typical fans. It's the end of the school year. A lot of students are buying gifts for their teachers. How good a gift is this? Bob Maia's a teacher, and your kids sent you to the Red Sox game. Fabulous gift. Fabulous gift. Great class of kids, great parents. I really appreciate this a lot. Sent you along with your wife and your son, and they know you're a big Red Sox fan. Yeah, I've been a lifelong Red Sox fan, and I suffered just like all Red Sox fans. You know, I'm 54 years old. I'm still waiting, but it's going to happen. This is better than an apple or a new pencil? Yeah, oh, yeah, much better than an apple or a pencil, definitely. <laughs> Bob, our Citizens Bank, not your typical fan here by virtue of his kids, guys. Thanks a lot, Tom. We'll check on Jamie and Jackson. That's a nice gift. Got a nice night. Good ball game. Yeah, you're right. That is a nice gift. They must have knew he was a big-time baseball fan, big Red Sox fan. Get him out to a game. We'll see bottom of the fifth Yankees on top of Tampa Bay tonight seven to three. I think the key is get him out to a game before school's out because that may improve your grade just a maybe a <laughs> half a point or something you know B plus instead of a B. That all important C minus instead of a D. Very big difference between the C minus mm. and a D. will get plenty of attention. It's a perfect opportunity to run a two to one ball game. Jackson with 10 steals on the season. 10 for 12 for Damian Jackson. He's headed back again as Veritek swings and misses. Uh, he's having a tough time reading the move of a Marath. And uh, sometimes when that happens, you just take a smaller lead.